Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to stop your Niagara particle in level sequencer. So let's start. Uh, okay, add your level sequence in the content or where you want. Um, now we create an, an actor. actor. Okay, and add um, Niagara component, Niagara, Niagara particle system component, and name as you wish. I use blood particle for this video, so choose your particle, um, call it, call it, hit. Okay, compile, save, and you can close this tab. That's it. Uh, okay, we have an actor and we have a sequence. We have a sequence. So, uh, all you need to do is place your actor and add into sequencer. Okay, just add your uh, particle and uh, we need two things. The first one is event trigger and the last one is Niagara system lifecycle track. Okay, so uh, add a keyframe. Right click on it, um, properties, event, quick point, house, set post. Okay, compile, save. And you can close this tab too. Uh, now, right click on it again, go properties, and check colon editor, and check in pause. Okay. That's it. So, uh, the last thing we need to do uh, is set life cycle. Okay, right click on it, go properties. So, change tick delta time with desired age. Okay, and that's it. So, all you need to do is drag your life cycle and choose which frame you want to uh, pause in your sequence okay this is okay I I think so you can you can see this particle is stopped so that's it. Thanks for watching.